good morning internet it is about 7 30 in the morning we're at Malat Summit campground in Idaho having the first cup of coffee just woke up it's like only five degrees Celsius it's not warm the night was quite cold actually I don't know how cold it got at night but it was chilly even in a tent and sleeping bag and liner but Anyway, so we're starting day three of the adventure towards Moab. Uh, we are just probably about 150 miles uh, north of Salt Lake City. And once we have breakfast and pack up everything, we'll head back on the road. And uh, the plan is to get to Moab today. So anyways, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe help the YouTube algorithm to roll and let's get packing and see you guys on the road. Even though it's crispy in the morning, but I found a beautiful spot on this campground just uh, behind our um, site where we set up the tent. A beautiful creek. So that was time to wash myself a bit. But it is cold. It's still cold. It's uh, 8 o'clock uh, and it's still cold. My friend is still sleeping. He has a problem to wake up, always. But uh, not much longer because uh, I'm gonna have to get him up because we have to go. Today, meal of the day is an oatmeal. Oh, I'm just gonna pour the water on top of your coffee. All right. And it's a triple berry, so it should be good. You're chilling yourself, man.
15 bucks for the night and it's time to rock and roll it's a super late start it's 10 o'clock and I woke up at uh, 6 30 my body here takes forever but that will end today today was the last time that he was sleeping that long the other guys won't let it happen <laughs> So again, we have a change of plans. Instead of taking I-15 towards Salt Lake City and Salt Lake Flats, we will be heading to Bonneville Salt Lake Flats. And uh, we, ch we chose uh, to take a different route through these mountains here. Uh, it's looking quite interesting already. Uh, twisties. As long as we don't, we don't get caught in the rain up there, because it's again it's looking dark up ahead but I tell you guys last night was freaking cold I'm, I'm looking forward to get to Moab where it's warmer at least a little bit warmer I, I cooled off and the whole morning and uh, even just packing everything I, like I had like three layers of sweaters sweatshirts and everything and it was still cold So they're just standing here, like look at that, a rolling hills. So, it's for those that are interested, that's uh, Highway 38 West, uh, heading out of uh, I-15. Mm-hmm. this uh, we just pass through the rain in the back and uh, we double check the map on uh, Bonneville Salt Lake Flats and it might be raining there actually quite heavy so we changed the plans again today so scrapping the Salt Lake Flats and on the route to Moab again so we're about uh, 97 miles uh, from uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, 327 miles at this point to Moab. So that's the plan for today, uh, to get down to Moab and start riding out there. No more playing around and changing the plans because uh, so far nothing worked out uh, the way we wanted to. And uh, we just got ourselves into some decent rain. I don't know what's going on. Like uh, every day we, we get soaked. Uh, but none, nonetheless, we'll meet up uh, everyone today. And uh, tomorrow is going to be another great, great day of riding out in, in uh, Utah. So we are in Utah right now. 
actually have been for a while, but I didn't film because it was raining. And then we stopped uh, to eat something. So you can see in the back of me what really goes on in there. It's very, very dark and it's pouring heavy. My jacket is just drying out right now. That's a nice to have a waterproof gear because uh, it didn't go through. And on this side, the sun is shining. Getting closer to Salt Lake City. The traffic starts to pick up and it's not even a rush hour. Let's hope there's no major delays to get across here. But look at the traffic how it picks up here now. Both ways. And we're, we're like uh, four lanes each way now. They have uh, quite a few refineries in here by the looks of it, yeah? There, there is a lot of gas. What seems to be the problem with the prices? What the hell this marshmallow in front of me slows down like that? Another refinery on the left. So we just got off uh, I-15 uh, to number 6 east, another 181 miles to go. It will be a tough day at the office, so three long days of riding. Ah, that's a beautiful scenery. Now it begins. It's similar to the thing that we did this morning, except this one is bigger. Hey, Marius. Wow, wow, good thing that we have a nice weather coming through here, the, look at this, this is just something. If 
Plagiat? Starting to be red. Just a couple of minutes ago the rocks were red, now they sort of looking almost green. So my theory that's uh, copper, different color. Check this out! That looks so cool! And that's the reason why we like Utah. I think there's some kind of a dam on the bottom. Because I see hydro stuff. That took him a while to do this thing. Holy! Hey guys, we almost there. 
took us almost three days to get here from Calgary, but we are about 70 miles from Moab now. And the horizon is starting to look spectacular. It's, the views here are just stunning. It's like never enough, never enough. Approaching Moab area. It's exactly 29 miles left to go to Moab, but uh, we will camp out and pitch the tents most likely before um, Canyonlands and Archers National Park. So it has been a freaking long day. I'm exhausted, but we made it uh, three days. Uh, from Calgary So now I can't wait till pitch the tent and chillax have a drink and uh, We'll be doing some dirt Or trails here around Moab and Canyonlands most likely that's gonna be the first one that we will do As always, uh, thank you for watching don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe. That always helps the YouTube algorithm and keeps the videos rolling. On the right hand side Canyon Lands, on the left side Arches. That looks like it's the right location for tonight to set the tents. We're just gonna drive right a little bit back on the dirt road and go a little bit further away from the highway as this is the main highway going to Moab. So that's the plan and uh, the rest of the group is coming up right now. Can't even look through up the sun, it's crazy. So they'll be arriving any minute because they're just minutes behind and the fun begins tomorrow go 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 go